the nails are the self-portrait of this person and whatever they interact with in nature becomes reflected on the on the nails the design becomes whatever they are focused on the key is the token of breaking out of the prison of self so i used to wear a key i still have it and sometimes i wear it still so that key represents to me freedom um to to have full access to myself and to truth where i have felt the freest is actually in engaging with art like this morning i had a lot of concerns that were stressing me out and i sat with my guitar and sang it pulled me away from the parts of myself that are sticky i don't know how else to put it the parts that pull and don't feel like they flow. Left to my own devices, I think, I would be a terrible person. My lower nature is extremely strong and it would just overtake me. So if I can find that flower, which is honestly my spirit, it's my joy, it's my love for the eternal, it's my love for my daughter and my family, it's my wanting this world to be a better place. All of these things are my higher nature because I'm thinking about something greater than myself. If I can smell that flower first thing in the morning, it allows me temporarily, albeit, to live in that higher nature. Tezcatlipoca significa el humo en el espejo o el espejo humeante. Así como creamos nuestra realidad, también creamos la ilusión del yo, la ilusión del ego. Para poder este, liberarnos de esa trampa o de esa ilusión, es necesario traspasar el espejo, es decir, ir más allá de nuestro propio yo, ir más allá de nuestro propio ego. Lo representé con la figura de una mujer que cierra los ojos para conectarse con su parte más profunda. En este paso de, de traspasar su propio ego, es como comienza su proceso de liberación. For me, that's something that I've been processing lately. And that feeling of there is no medication for what I'm suffering through. Oh, it's the moments in your life where you feel like you're a bit in purgatory. I felt, felt like Well, something that really grounded me was meditation and prayer and connecting to that something higher. The quote that I was reading for that one, there was a lot of like perfume type words and fragrance and of the flower. And I was like, what if God is this, this beautiful flower and we're all trying to get close to this amazing smelling and beautiful flower? You know, it's like, this idea of, you know, here's this delicious, wonderful thing. And that actually, if you make efforts towards it, it'll actually set you free. There's always been pain and separation. Yeah. And all this climbing leaves me separated. So this piece really talks about those chains and how we're attached to them and how we can once as long as we're directed to look towards the light it helps like to break from these chains when i wake up in the morning sometimes i feel i feel like i'm waking up with chains on some of it is just socialization some of it is the world it's materialism it's attachments to to all of these things and and the only way that i can start to remove the chains if I can even remove them at all. It's the fragrance of the flower that's the key that unlocks the chains. I'm gonna feel the chains, 
But then I know what the antidote is, which is remembrance. Remembrance of something greater than myself. Remembrance of the fact that I have a soul and that I am a, a spiritual being having a physical experience. And for those moments, like, my armor's off. Oh.